Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. All right, guys, we have a drought incoming. Yes, yes, we have a drought incoming, and we have not started getting people down here yet because we have not. Yeah, we haven't sent any beavers down. Okay, so just double checking to see where we're at with everything. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to wait just a second longer. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and shut this gate. We're going to let the last 0.3 days of water backfill in here. I will shut this gate as well because I think, I think we're pretty much good other than that little bit, which they're about to call it a night anyway, so... We'll go ahead and shut that. The water should run out there. We should be all right. All right. Let's speed this up. There we go. End of the night. How many beavers do we have? We have 11 beavers. All right. So that's going to be where I send my next uh, set of beavers from. Let's see. We are. Yes, we are holding. We're good. Excellent. All right. And let me see, yes, the irrigation is turned off. So um, I do want to say that I do agree with everyone when it comes to the irrigation that a water dump is much better than the irrigation tower. Uh, I'm going to leave it there just because I built it. But as far as the future goes, we're probably going to have more irrigation towers or not irrigation tower. We're going to have water dumps. Sorry, I misspoke there. We're going to do water dumps instead. All right, let's go ahead and send six of them over here. We've got a few logs there. I want to go ahead and get this built. Add two there. All right. Actually, I could probably add one more because we've got six people there. Yep. And they are already started on the dam. Excellent. Well, dam levy. And we've got that done. So now I can go ahead and do that. The lumberjacks have got all of that cut out. So we can go ahead and do a larger area now. And I can back off the cut on that. There we go. All right. So we've got 16 logs. Are we getting? Yes, we have 79 in there. 28 planks. Um, that actually is probably enough planks. Yeah, we have, we have plank delivery turned off. Okay. So that's good. That gives us enough planks that if we need to build anything, we can. And we'll go ahead and we'll start off by getting, getting this blocked off. Once this is blocked off, we'll go up to the next level. And then once that second level is done, we will see how much water actually escapes at that point. Because um, I have a feeling we're going to get quite a bit of... Uh, we're going to get quite a bit of water storage out of this. I mean, everything's going to stay green for a while. We'll have plenty to pump out of. Like I said, I'm considering doing aqua farm right here. But we might need to go up another level. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, let me see. So did we ever get the dynamite that we need? We need how many blocks? We're at 28 blocks. Okay. So we're two blocks away from getting the dynamite built, which isn't bad. Um, the scrap metal still going. Yeah, it's pretty much a done deal at this point. I was thinking about it and I was thinking maybe I should put in a windmill um, I know someone who left a comment about the windmills the other day and the windmills just don't ever provide a constant amount of power but they do provide power when they do blow so I mean they are good but I think if I put one here in conjunction with the power wheels then we always have power 
regardless if the wind shuts down. And that might not be too bad of an idea. All right, I need to migrate these beavers back. Let me go ahead and send them back to District 3. Y'all go get a drink. So we are roughly halfway across this right now. Yeah, because that one just needed to be built. So we'll get four more blocks and that will be, that'll be the start of it. That will be a good time, a good day. Yeah, I think I am going to put in a, a deal. Let's go ahead come down here. Put that there. And I don't have paper, so I can't. Well, I do have paper, don't I? I do have paper. So I could build the big one if we really wanted to. Uh, 40 planks, 20 gears. And that does how much? That does 400 horsepower when it's turning. Or I could do the cheap one and do 200. You know what? I think we're just going to do the cheap one because that's more than enough horsepower for it. Okay, I'm confused. Why is it not letting me put this here? If I get rid of that, will it let me put it there? Hold on. No. Hmm. Okay, is it because we've got trees over here? Maybe I need a lumberjack. Hold on. Let me let me let this get started. I might need to put a lumberjack right here. Actually, I'll put a lumberjack right there. Yeah, you go cut these trees down for me real fast so I can see what we got going on. Just a bunch of birch, so. And, of course, the one tree that I needed gone is still there. All right. Next morning. Here we go. Make sure everybody goes and gets fed. And let's transfer over to District 5. Okay, we got six beavers going over there. All right, that guy got that tree out of the way. So now I'm going to have you work on the rest of these trees. And let me see, let me see, let me see. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. All right. Was that what was stopping the, the deal? It wasn't. So it can go here, but not here. Why? Oh, you know what? I bet you, hold on. I bet you I know what it is. I bet you it's the tail of the, uh, I bet you it's the tail. Yeah, I bet you it's the windmill tail because it's the block underneath it is blocking it. I bet you that's what it is. Come on, get the right one. Yes, get that one out of the way. Yep, and that is exactly what it was. What was the problem right there? Okay. So the trees were just blocking the tail of it. I mean, even though the tail's way up here, for whatever reason, it yeah, it needs needs an open spot behind it. Yeah, they've got plenty of wood over here. We just got to get it delivered. All right, so we've got two more. And our first stage of our new reservoir will be finished.
and we should actually have yes we have 32 metal blocks so we have plenty of metal blocks now so i can come back in here and let's see where's it at explosives factory right there yes so we need explosives we need that and we're going to need paper to make it so I think we're going to build it over here. Uh, that way we're with the paper factory. And I'm just going to put it in line with this guy. And then I think... I think we're going to use a windmill over here. Now, I'm trying to think of the best place to put a windmill if I can... It'd be nice to put one right over the top of all of this, to be fair. You know what? I wonder if we could do that. Um, let me see here. I'm going to destroy this for just a moment here. Uh, it might work. It might tell me no. And I hate having to tear stuff out to try things, but... Let's try it, and then, you know, like I said before, if we get wind, we do. If we don't, we don't. Uh, we do have the manual power, and we have water power. So we're going to use all of these in conjunction, because that's really the only way you can do the wind power, is you have to use them in conjunction. I think the wind power and batteries will work really well together, because, you know, they'll charge whenever it flows. But for right now, yeah, they do. they do what they do. Yes, I think this should work out. So that will give that extra extra stuff. I need to send my metal blocks over. Hold on. Uh, let me get this guy. Let me take him over here. And we are going to send our metal blocks. Where's our metal? There they are. Actually, before I do this, I need to make sure that we don't have... A district limit because I think I set one at one point metal blocks that's zero it was at the other one district limit uh, metal blocks yeah we set it at a limit of 12 we're gonna set that at zero all right send them your metal blocks and that's all good so let's come back in here let's give them some more area to cut please cut that please cut all of that so yeah as you can see we are getting 96 horsepower out of it right now so that's good these guys we still got one more to go can y'all finish it before i send you back Probably not. Alright. We'll send all these guys back to District 3. Y'all go eat. Go drink. Be merry. Go do your thing. Are you seriously going to go put that... Alright. Alright. We got a dedicated beaver over here. We need to we need to award this beaver. Rornar or Rorno? Rorno. Yeah, it's Rorno. All right, Rorno. You you are a mighty fine beaver there, Rorno. Alright, this dried out, so we need to let a little water through. Okay, water's flowing through there as well. We'll shut that. That will fill this up. That will give us a little overflow here. We are still good right there. Had a little bit. 
little bit of an excess right there, but that's all right. We're still good over here at our pumping area. That's still good. Okay. Uh-oh. We had a little bit of a spill. That's all right. Not much of it can leak through. Yeah, it's going to stay. So it'll stay right there until it evaporates, which, you know, yeah, we did lose a tiny bit, but I guess it's okay for right now. Unconnected building. Who is unconnected? Oh, I know you're unconnected. I know, I know, I know. All right, let's get our beavers back over there. Let's see, yeah, we've got 14 extra. So I'm just going to go ahead and send 10 of them over. And I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do a road over here to like right there. We're going to put in a couple of lumberjacks over here on this side. And then I'm going to get all of this cut out really fast. And then we shall start putting in levees. So we don't have to get all these trees cut out, but I figured it'd be a nice little little thing to have over here. There we go. Are we out of planks over here? I think we are out of planks. Hold on. How many planks do I got over here? I've got, I've got enough. Uh, let me send, okay, quit sending metal. And let me send a couple planks over here for right now. That way we can get that built. And then we'll have to add in another plank facility over here. I think, I think one, one plank for the gear and then one plank just to have planks. I mean, we've got plenty of wood still, so I'm not hurting, hurting there at all for the wood. Very, very nice. All right. Yeah, I know. Hungry and thirsty. Get this situated. All right, I think this one, we just need to go ahead and shut it down. Yeah, I figured that was going to strand them. All right, we're going to lose a log here, but I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And then... Let's go ahead and migrate these guys back. Oh, we lost two? Hold on. I could have swore I sent ten of them. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. Um, someone had said, and I think, oh, who was it? Uh, urgh, I do apologize. I forget who it was. But um, grindstone. I forgot to put grindstones over here. That's, that's a thing. We need to have grindstones. 
So I'm going to put a grindstone here. And I'm going to put a grindstone here. Okay, so we've got two grindstones now. So we've got extra ways for the beavers to do their thing. Because, uh, yeah, I completely forgot about it. The grindstone's still relatively new to me since we didn't really have to use them much in the last playthrough. So I'm trying to remember those are something I have to put in every every district or we'll have issues with our beavers cutting down wood. All right. So we've got that. Let me go ahead. How full are you? Yeah, you're full. Okay. Let me go ahead and migrate back over. Just send them 10. Actually, there's nothing in that one. Get rid of it. There's nothing in that one. Get rid of it. Okay. You know what? I think... I mean, they're still going after stuff over here, but... I hate to do this because I know they're going to end up doing doing it backwards and filling it in wrong, but I'm going to wait just a second, and then, yeah, we'll put that down. All right, that one's almost done. That one's getting there, and then that one, and then, yeah, we'll back it up. Okay. Yeah, in fact, I think we have plenty of wood now, so... Those little birch trees aren't necessary. There we go. Unconnected building. Who's... Oh, it's still you. Okay. Alright. Migrate all of these guys back. How did I get 12 over here? That's weird. Seriously, you... You delivered the log, but you couldn't build it, huh? All right, I see how y'all are. I see. Uh, let's see, this guy is good. Let's get rid of that. This guy is also good. Get rid of him. So I think what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to put in a second staircase like over here. And then I'll put in a couple lumberjacks over here. That way we have a little bit, a little bit extra range.
All right. And we will migrate once again. Let's see, back to District 5. Send them 10. Give me this. Yeah, go ahead and build that. Get rid of all that. There we go. That one's good. We'll get rid of that guy. And then I am going to... We're going to do that. Give me my path. So we'll go ahead and do it like this over this whole area because they can they can reach anywhere over there. So we'll do that and then we'll build it across this last little bit and we'll block it off. So hopefully we'll get that done fairly quick. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Where are we at? So we are producing dynamite. We are producing dynamite. Excellent. 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 All right, so this is what I want to do now. I want to get us a path. Uh, I need to go down. I guess right here will work. Also need to go down over here as well. And yeah, all of that, we're going to need a path over here. Uh... Let's see, let me, yeah, yeah. oh well, it's going. Do that, give me this guy, let me open. We'll let whatever water we can out of there. We've got 4.2 days, so hopefully none of our crops over here have died. No, it looks like everything's good. Yeah, I think I'm just going to let that open and let whatever fills it, fills it. And then we will let some water out over here as well. All right. So next thing is unlock the dynamite. We now have dynamite unlocked. Excellent. All right, so what we need to do is we need to make sure we blow some little holes over here to ensure that all of our crops stay nice and hydrated. Because we don't have enough to blow out the whole area just yet. All right, get all of those spots placed. Yeah, once we get that placed, I'll send dynamite to the other district. We'll do the same thing, and we will have a much easier time uh, getting things done. Come on, send them to district three. There we go. All right, you hungry beavers, get out of there. So we got a little bit of the wall done. Go ahead and turn that off. And let's see, did we get our dynamite placed? We did. Detonate you. Detonate you. That one was not placed. This one is. That one's placed.
Construction site is too far from a district. Seriously? So, do you want me to build a path over there? How about now? Still too far. Huh. Oh, you know what? I bet you. Yes, I know what I did. Hold on. I'm being dumb. They can't walk underneath the uh, the water wheels. So that path is pointless. They have to come from over here to do it. Yeah, okay. So in order to do that side, I'm going to have to have a staircase right there. All right, that's fine. We'll do that. We'll get that one piece of dynamite placed. I'm surprised they can't just do it catty cornered right there, but. Yep, there he goes after the dynamite. How much more dynamite do we have? We have 10. All right, let me see, let me see, let me see. Explosives. We'll go ahead and turn this guy on for the next two days. That way everything can stay green right here. This stuff is just going to have to ride it out, unfortunately. And let me see. Let's grab our dynamite and I will put one here. Put one there. Put one right there. We'll tuck one away in that little hole. One there. And then we will do the same thing up here. I'll do like one there. One here. And one there. Okay, now we are going to have to put another staircase in. So we'll go ahead and drop that guy right there. We'll let them do their thing. As soon as our dynamite gets delivered. There it is. They are placing it. Excellent. All right, and that should prevent us from drying up anymore. Uh, let's see, too far from the site, huh? Okay, hold on. Now you're good. Get that last dynamite over there. If they even have a dynamite. Let's see, how many do we have? We have seven. Okay, so I'm going to leave the seven of them, of them over there, and I'm going to cancel the delivery. Don't deliver any more, and don't deliver planks to District 3. Or no, are we sending them? No, we're sending them back. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we have got a little bit of stuff done here. I am happy with what we got going. Go ahead and slow that down a little bit here. Oops. Wrong button. But yes, we have achieved dynamite. We have got that. So once the water comes back, we, should, we shouldn't we should not stay green. We should always have a little green spot now for our crops and everything since we got the dynamite. So that's good. We've got our first layer of... Uh, Our first layer of our next reservoir over here. So this river channel will always hold water. Well, I say always hold water. It will hold one one block of water at least for right now. So we got a little bit going on. So we are progressing towards keeping all the water on the map that we possibly can. Uh, we'll see what happens. 
But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, I'd like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.